Hey, welcome to the Street Sense Group Chat. We post videos every day online and we're all about sharing tips and tricks for spending, earning, and shopping smarter. That yes. is true, and usually it's the three of us making content. But it's been so fun to have other creators come on and do Street Sense stuff. It too. is true. Yes. We have some people from across Canada helping us out here and there. Mm -hmm. And Good today, thing. this yeah. video is going to be all about them. Yes. yes, let's start with a piece by my girl Caitlin. She goes to university in Edmonton and took a gap year after high school. Things may or may not have gone according to plan. Let's see it. I thought that my gap year would be just like this. So dreamy. But this is what my gap year was actually like. Not so dreamy. You know, coming out of high school, I wanted to take a year off to learn more about myself and find a sense of direction. My parents were okay with this, but had two terms. That I would go to university after my gap year and that I would work during my gap year. Now, I was hoping to travel and work in Australia, but COVID happened just as I graduated, so my dreams of traveling died. But there was still some good though. So I worked at Starbucks and I had my YouTube channel going too. Between these two things, I was able to save up some money. To be fair, my work ethic really improved too. I also liked being away from my high school friends. Not because they were bad influences on me, but because it forced me to be more independent. You know what I mean? But wait, the gap year came with cost too. I lost momentum in school and forgot the art of studying. While other people my age were progressing in life, I felt stuck in the same place. Not fun. And yeah, thinking back, I guess I was hoping I'd reach some magical point where I was 100% sure about what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. But that never really happened. Even even now that I'm in university, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing. So what do you guys think? Was my gap year worth it? Oh, that was so great. So good. I I'm personally, videos. same. I'm personally super happy to have a fellow Albertan on the feed too, Prairie Wynn. Yeah, yeah it's great. a nice little reminder of home for you. Okay, so. if, if you could take a gap year, where would you go? I would go back to Thailand. I loved it there. I loved the food, loved the people. It was so beautiful any day. That's a yeah. good pick. Yeah. Good. I think I'd go with Paris, France. I went there this summer mm -hmm. and was just obsessed. I would easily move there for a year. Oh, I, I could that. totally see you there. I would go back to the UK immediately. Oh yeah, uh, not surprised. I was there for a week and I almost made that gap week a gap forever. So <laughs> plus four, four, yes. I Fair. swear you came back with an accent. I felt like I did. I came <laughs> I, back as I a different too. human. <laughs> Anyway, all of these are slightly far away, a like a bit. full plane ride away. That is true. But just a train ride away, we have Dean in Montreal. Yes, but... shout out to Dean. He makes Streeter videos by McGill University. Oh, I love these ones. Check yes. it out. How much do you think an ambulance trip to the hospital would cost you? I think about 200 bucks. $20. Probably close to $100. 90 bucks. 50. Maybe 120. This is by province how much it costs to take an ambulance. More expensive than I expected. It looks pretty fair to me. Yeah, that's a lot more. In Quebec, there is a per kilometer fee. How much do you think the per kilometer fee is? It can't be that much. Dollar fifty? Fifty dollars? Like maybe like forty-five cents. I feel like maybe dollar seventy-five, two dollars. There are variables also, like resident versus non-resident, seniors, type of insurance. These affect pricing. In some cases, you may not be charged at all. It's giving complicated. Oh, and up north where it's remote, welcome to the chat, air transport. So take care of yourself, seriously. Yay, Dean. <laughs> okay, first, just acknowledging street interviews are not easy. No, yeah, not. seriously, you get rejected like at least 10 times before Seriously's someone agrees to do it. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> Dean is thankfully really good at pushing through and getting some good answers, really but is. it's not easy. Yeah, for sure. And back to the video, I'll admit it, I didn't realize that there was such a big jump in price from province to province. Yeah. yeah. And you are not alone with that. The comment section was basically mm. filled with that same thought. Yeah. yeah. The charge in Alberta. Oh, very high. Big L for the prairies. <laughs> yeah, not super great. I mean, I was most surprised by the fact that it's not just a standard thing and that so many different variables can affect the price. Yeah, like Why? who's in charge of figuring out these numbers? Like who decides these things? Speaking <laughs> of good questions, Ooh. do you either of you know how to thrift ethically? I hope so. I mean, I kind of thought thrifting I'm was inherently ethical, it. period. I thought so too. Hmm. Well, the thing is we have Karishma who has an answer for us, so let's check it out. Now I'm thankful to have access to thrift stores because I think the secondhand economy is really great. Hello yoga pants for $4.99. But with thrift hauls, thrift flips, and increased popularity, how do we thrift responsibly? Well, here are some things I do to avoid overconsumption and to stay planet friendly and respectful. Keep a wish list. I have a Pinterest board for style inspiration and specific items I'm looking for. This stops me from buying more than I need. I will not impulse buy you. Buy items that will last. Thanks to the rise of throwaway fast fashion, thrift stores are getting flooded with low quality fabrics. I try to choose materials that are gonna last. Remove items before checkout. Before paying, I'll sift through my cart and force myself to be selective and I'll only buy what I really love. 
you're fired. I also like attending and hosting clothing swaps with my friends. It's free and we aren't buying more, so the reduced consumption is a bonus too. Now I know there's a lot of debate around thrifting, reselling, and textile waste, but I still really like the idea of secondhand clothing, so I'm trying to make it work. What do you do to thrift ethically? Oh, she is such an environmental girly. We stand. Okay, yes. question. Who's the biggest thrifter here? What? Are you looking for a mirror? It's you. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's <laughs> you. I do love thrifting. I'm wearing a fully thrifted outfit right oh, now. You're just so fair. good at thrifting. Yeah, exactly. We were not quite sure what the comment section was going to look like on this video. That is true. Yeah. Thrifting is very polarizing. Yeah, you've got some people who really love it like this, but then you've got the other hand of the argument where people feel like it's becoming a trend and is slowly being abused. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's why Christmas video is so great. Yeah. Yes. If you're going to thrift, do it with the right intentions. Exactly. And also have intentions to follow street signs. Wow. Best segue of the day. Good not luck. Not subtle. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>